Hello, in this video we will learn to set our characters and load different outfits, different hair and accessories for them. We'll also learn how to load animations and facial expressions. You'll be surprised at how easy this process is. In the upper part we can see three categories. Man, woman, child. Right below that we have a variety of subcategories that give us tremendous modification capabilities. We go to Man Outfits. Here is a collection of 120 unique outfits ready for use. First, we click on this empty space to make this composition an active composition. Then we select the outfit we want. I will choose Adventurer. As you can see, in this space called My Characters, we will always find the characters we have created. In the project panel at the top left, we have a folder called My Created Assets. This is where the compositions of all the kit's elements are being stored. As you can see, in the My Created Characters folder, we can find the character we created. With this character selected, we can load another outfit. Let's pick the astronaut. It's so simple to create an outfit. At the bottom, we see the reset button, which we will talk about in a moment. The delete button, which deletes the character that we have selected. And the delete all button, which deletes all the characters in the category. If we want to create more characters, we press the new character button and select an outfit. Let's drag him to the side, so we can see both of them. Now I can select Astronaut and click Delete. Not only was it deleted from the script, but it was also deleted from the project panel on the upper left corner. Let's modify this character by going to Clothes. In the Frame Story Kit, we don't just load complete outfits. We can also load blouses, shirts, trousers, accessories. We just select whichever of the clothes we like and it will be loaded automatically. This way, we can modify a pre-made outfit and make it even more unique. But there's more to it. We can press the reset button that will remove the clothes from our character and make our own outfit by using all of the choices that are given to us. So let's go to clothes. Let's select shirt 5. Now, we need trousers. Let's press next one more time. We can choose this. We don't want him without shoes, do we? We go to the shoes category to load one. Let's modify his head. We can keep the number 5. Let's select a nose. Now the only thing left is the hair. Let's see hair 10. I think I like hair 18 better. I think I want him to have some facial hair too. Let's find some. Let's choose Mustache 5. There is also the Various category, which includes lots of different elements to further customize our character. We can put glasses on. And maybe a pipe. You know what? I would love to see this guy on a bicycle. Let's go to the Animation tab to pick a pose. Again, we just choose whichever pose we like and our character will be updated automatically. Let's choose Cycling. If we want another pose, just click on it and let the script do its magic. Now let's delete this character and create a woman. The beach outfit looks nice. Let's browse through the outfits. Maybe we want her to be casual. Or an office worker. Or a superhero. As we've seen in a previous video, we also have outfits of famous people.
We could choose Cleopatra. Now, let's go back and choose Fitness. Aside from poses, we can select facial expressions as well. In the Expressions category, we have a collection of 60 different expressions. Let's pick one. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make a woman angry. Let's choose another one. By the way, the Reset Expressions button you see on the right will remove any expressions that we've added to our character. In another video, we'll see how to create our own expressions and make use of the lip sync system. Now let's go to the poses category and pick a pose. Note that since each pose has its own expressions, the expression we just created will be overwritten. That's a nice pose for comparing items. Hmm, let's choose skip rope. The reset pose button that you see on the right will remove any pose that we've loaded to our character. Now let's hide this character for a moment and create a child. I think the child is my favorite one. We can choose the beach outfit here as well. Now we can select the casual one. As you can see, the way you customize the child will determine its sex. Let's start browsing through these outfits. Casual 5 Hip Hop I like this king over here. Winter girl. A nerd maybe? Again, if we want to, we can further customize all aspects of our character. We can change glasses or wear headphones. Now let's go to the animation tab and preview some of them. This bouncing pony looks nice. Let's see catch item. By the way, the items you see in the poses are just suggestions. You are free to replace the items you see with your own. Let's make the boy dance. Or play the guitar. There's also some poses that work well with other characters. Let's choose Grab Parent. Enable the eye switch over here. We go to the Woman category. We head over to Poses and find the Grab Child pose. We select it. We select the child composition, move it over to the side, and just hit play. Also note that after you've selected a pose, you can still modify your character's appearance. Now let's delete these characters and create a woman. Let's go to the outfits and choose the accustomed. Head over to clothes and add a different top. We can change the shoes. Add a hat. Let's choose some hair too. And pick these glasses. Now we will see how to modify our character's colors. We open the character's composition by double clicking on it. We go to the color controller layer and if we scroll down we will see this keep default colors checkbox. We uncheck it, and now we can change the colors to our liking. If we want to change the skin color, we simply uncheck the checkbox below. We can see a lot of options. Let's change the upper body color. 
If the upper body cloth had more colors, we would still be able to change them. So feel free to experiment. Let's change the trousers color. The shoes and the shoelaces. What if we want to change the colors of the head accessories? Well, we find the head composition and double click on it. We select the color controller layer and we uncheck this checkbox. Now we can change the hat colors and the glasses or pretty much whatever is visible to us. That's it for this tutorial. Feel free to play around and create your own unique characters and I'll see you in the next video.